Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we start the whole thing, let me tell you a few general principles how we should perform uh, ultrasound uh, approaches or procedures when we do nerve or and MSK sonography. Of course, the first thing is to have an um, appropriate atmosphere that is clear. And the first thing you do is inspection. That means as soon as your patient comes in the room, you really, really look accurately at him or her because half of the diagnosis is made if you look carefully. That's my experience. And as soon as you have your patient on your, on your uh, um, setting, the next important thing is whatever procedure you do, the most important is the positioning. That means right positioning gives you another very important uh, um, prerequisite to do ultrasonography. And then, as I will show you continuously, before you put the probe on a patient, you do again an inspection and then you do palpation. That means you use external landmarks to properly place your transducer. That will save time and you will be really, really quick in your procedures and accurately, accurately at the same time. Um, then you see your uh, image and um, depending on if you do nerves or MSK, it differs a little bit. That, that means as soon as you see a nerve or your target nerve, uh, you have to ask yourself, is the image okay, yes or not? And that's what um, I created years ago when I said, if we deal with nerves, there's always a POV, that means a point of optimal visibility. And most important of all, the point or location where you see a nerve best does not mean that this is the location of blockade. That means it just facilitates ultrasound uh, procedures, finding the nerve right away and then go probably to the point of blockade. Sometimes they are the same. That means the point of best visibility is uh, also the point of where you do the blockade of your nerve. Second most uh, um, triggering thing is uh, um, most people just do one scan and say that is, that is it. We have the saying that one view is no view. That means you always should try to do it in two planes, especially if you deal with alterations of nerves. It never, never is enough to do one view. You have to do it transverse and along the nerve also for diagnostic purposes. And then do dynamic scanning whenever possible. That means you move patient's arms, et cetera, et cetera, flexion and so on, or you ask the patient to do that if he or she can. That is very, very interesting and important. And when it comes to MSK imaging, there's one general rule a lot of people disregard. And this is in almost all applications of MSK ultrasound. Don't do a lot of compression. That is very, very important. Most things are without compression. There are many reasons why you shouldn't do that. And again, when necessary, you do not just one plane, but most important is the other side. That means if you have a patient, most of them don't have their uh, pathology or whatsoever on both sides. That means if you're, especially if you're not sure, compare to the healthy side. That is very, very important because there are uh, considerable differences between individuals and um, for example, if you uh, tell you about the median nerve, some people will have big median nerves in the carpal tunnel. And unless you haven't compared that individual on the same, on the same individual on the other side, you have no clue what you're doing. So compare to the healthy side. And last but not least, this is especially for MSK imaging, do it dynamically. You have to move extremities you have to tell uh, patients if he or she should do for example dorsiflexion or plantar flexion of the foot and so on that is 
really, really crucial. If you do and follow those things, probably you will succeed in doing uh, ultrasound of nerves and, and uh, MSK. Thank you. That's great, Prof. Thank you. That was fantastic. So I've actually paused the recording. So give me two minutes. Let me just uh, 